I'm Kevin, otherwise known as Forum BX257, here to bring you another vintage G.I. Joe repair tip. And this one is about those dastardly wobbly knees on your played with G.I. Joe figures. Now unfortunately, there there is uh, two different ailments here. One is just a, a worn out joint, which is a fairly easy fix. Unfortunately, the other one is where the peg actually kind of breaks off in the lower leg or just breaks off uh, right from the thigh here. And that's a more difficult fix, but I'll cover uh, at least my somewhat easier way of fixing that. After taking apart the leg piece that you want to fix, I'm just going to use some, it's just like some Krylon varnish. I suppose you could use uh, a colored paint if you wanted to. You probably don't have to do this bit, but I just put a, a toothpick right through the hole here because That'll help prevent me from when I'm putting the varnish around the uh, knee part here. It doesn't go into the hole because once you get stuff into the hole, it'll put uh, more strain on the peg. Assuming the you know you have an existing peg there, uh, that's not what you want. So I'm just going to put. Um, a fairly fairly even even amount of the varnish just just around just around the side there just to thicken up this part of course you can you're going to have to you know wait for this stuff to dry and it has to dry very thoroughly uh, of course before putting it on here and sometimes you will have to uh, do multiple times just to uh, get the thickness and of course the uh, the amount of tension that you want in the combined leg. Now here's a case where I've actually I've only done like um, uh, two coatings, but it, it's actually too stiff. It, I I feel it's too stiff and it'll probably eventually either either get stuck in a particular position or it'll break the peg. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take it apart again, take the uh, leg piece apart again, and just sand, just sand a bit of that varnish off, not a lot, just a little bit. And of course, this is just my uh, my dice with the double-sided tape and the sandpaper around it. And you just sand it and then retry it until you get the the, the right amount of uh, tension in the knee, so it. Feels, you know, good and secure. It's the figure should hold its own weight up at least, but it shouldn't be so stiff that you know you're hearing um, plastic scraping together. If you manage to take your leg apart and discover that the the inner thigh piece no longer has the peg, that is unfortunately a broken knee now. So there is actually two things that you can do with this. Now what you can do depends on whether or not the peg is still there, even if it's not attached. In this case, even though it has broken off of the thigh piece, it's still, it's still attached on the knee part. And it might, it might be a, lo a bit loose in there, but at least it's still there. So it can purchase at least one side of the thigh, if you know, not the other. If that's the case, you don't really have to do much. You can still take your um, clear varnish or anything to, to that effect and you can just um, put the varnish actually on the side which is, well, not sticking out and that will help actually keep that peg in this portion of the leg. 
so that you can put it on on the side that the uh, leg hook still hooks onto and you can shore up this side and make it thicker so that when you put this back on even though it's only being held on by one side of the thigh it'll probably still be perfectly fine and, and a usable knee. However, in instances where the peg might not be long enough to, to do what I've just done, or if the peg is, well, not there, or it's just disintegrated, you can, of course, just make your own peg. And by that, you can just do what I've done, is I've just, uh, I've just taken, you know, the uh, toothpick and just clip off the ends, make sure they're all nice and flat, so that they're a little, lo a little longer than what the original was. Of course, instead of uh, something as fragile as wood, you can even use, um, what I used to use is actually um, parts off of uh, a discarded like sprue tree from like a model from an old sprue. You can also do that as well. Just uh, sanding it down a bit. Now once you've made your own temporary little knee joint, as I've just made it rather quickly out of the toothpick, what you then need to do is to take the side which does not have the hole and drill your own tiny little hole. Now it doesn't really have to be very thick. I have heard of people just um, uh, just heating up the end of an old you know, dollar store flathead uh, screwdriver and just sort of scraping out a little hole on that side. Or of course, you can always use a little Dremel. And it doesn't have to be very, again, it doesn't have to be very deep or very wide. Just a tiny little hole on that side. You probably will have to, again, you know, shore up the sides with uh, a clear varnish just to thicken everything up. But it should just go back together just like a new, brand new knee. Well, thank you for watching this video. I hope it's been helpful. Uh, and remember, the name of the game when it comes to vintage G.I. Joe tour repairs is Patience. Well, that's all the time I have right now. Please check out my Facebook page for more information and behind the scenes photos for these reviews. Thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for next time to see another 1980s G.I. Joe tour review See you then.